good morning children welcome back to biology class in the previous classes we discussed about the food chains food web and various trophic levels and energy flow in them various trophic levels and an ecosystem and energy flow from one level to another can also be depicted graphically and these graphic representations are called ecological pyramids so an ecological pyramid can be defined as a graphical representation of the relationship between different organisms in an ecosystem each of the bars that make up the pyramid represent a different trophic level and their order represents the flow of energy there are three basic types of ecological pyramids that is of numbers biomass and energy so today we are going to discuss about the different types of pyramid of numbers pyramid of numbers as the name suggests it's a graphical representation that depicts the relationship in terms of the number of producers herbivores and the carnivores at their successive trophic levels but all the pyramids are not same different ecosystems have different type of pyramid of numbers following are the three types upright pyramid of number aquatic and grassland ecosystems have this type of pyramid of number look at this pyramid at the first level we have producers the grass for example here which is much more as compared to the primary consumers which are deer deer are eaten by the fox which are the secondary consumers and these secondary consumers are much lesser in number as compared to the primary consumers and then the secondary consumers are eaten by the tertiary consumers that is lion which are much smaller in number as compared to the secondary consumers and this makes this pyramid an upright pyramid of number the second type is partly upright pyramid of number this type of pyramid is seen in the forest ecosystem here the number of producers are lesser in number and support a greater number of herbivores for example a tree in a forest is host for a number of insects these herbivores means the insects in turn support a fewer number of carnivores like woodpecker this gives it a spindle shape and is called partly upright pyramid of number third is the inverted pyramid of number its shape is just opposite of the upright pyramid very few examples of this inverted pyramid are found it is generally found in parasitic food chains where one primary producer supports a number of herbivores which in turn support numerous parasites which further support more hyperparasites for example a single tree an autotroph is habitat for a large number of birds which are primary consumers and each bird is a host for various parasites the secondary consumers which further support a large number of hyperparasites the tertiary consumers so children these were the three types of pyramid of numbers now we know that energy is transferred along food chains from one trophic level to the next but the amount of available energy decreases from one trophic level to the next the following video will explain you how the flow of energy in an ecosystem in a food chain food which provides energy is transferred from one trophic level to another thus energy is used and conveyed from one trophic level to another this process is called flow of energy studies of various food chain show that the energy available at each successive level is 10% of the previous level this is called 10% law in the given illustration 1000 joules of energy is available to the plants from the sun plants convert 1% of this energy into chemical energy thus 10 joules of energy is stored in plants this energy is available to herbivores 
Hobby was retain 10% of 10 joules that is 1 joule as stored energy and 9 joule of energy would be lost to the environment. Thus, only 1 joule of energy would be available to the carnivore as food. So children, now you understand that why at every level of the pyramid, the organisms only get 10% of the energy from the previous level. And this is called the 10% law of energy. Thank you children.